Hello, thank you. Uh, so I am Kaylee Smith. I teach theater courses at Camden Hills Regional High School. I'm also the president of the Maine Drama Council and I'm the facility manager at this drama auditorium at Camden Hills High School. Um, as is true for music, uh, theater is also sort of starting to bounce back a little bit, which is very exciting. Um, we are back, most schools are back to live audiences um, with the lifted restrictions of masks and distancing. A lot of students are um, enjoying that on the stage and the ability to express themselves a little bit more thoroughly. Um, the Maine Drama Council in partnership with the MPA just wrapped up our Maine Drama Festival this past weekend that we were able to do in person with most sites with spectators, which was exciting because we weren't sure that that was going to happen at one point, not that long ago. So that's very exciting. Kids had a great time. Uh, we had hit eight host sites throughout the state. Um, some host sites were able to do two day festivals, uh, getting almost back to normal. Um, and some schools were able to do a one day festival with five participants. Um, schools participating. We had about 56 participating schools, which is great. Usually we're in the 70s, but 56 was good. We'll take it. Um, and so, yeah, that was very exciting. The New England's Drama Festival that Maine participates in is having a virtual festival once again. So they're still concerned about bringing participants from various states together in one setting, which I understand. Um, so schools from Maine who are interested can submit a 10 to 15 minute video, assuming they have the uh, rights to the recording rights to their shows, they can submit that to the New England Drama Festival. Um, we are hoping to get more information about that out to directors soon so they know how to do that and what that process looks like. Um, unfortunately, the Maine Drama Council website was disabled because uh, the festival coordinator and myself were trying to access it from two different parts in the state too frequently. So the website was disabled, but hopefully that will be bouncing back uh, sometime this summer. We'll see if it gets up this spring, but the, I can forward that information once that becomes available. And let's see, the Educational Theater Association, the main chapter of the Educational Theater Association is still sort of bouncing back from COVID a little bit um, and sort of reestablishing themselves. Now that the drama festival has wrapped up, I hope to jump back into the EDTA a little bit and get that um, reset and restarted. I know they have been making some progress on meetings and festival discussions. Um, and we will see where that goes. Hopefully next year that will be completely back up and running. So that's very exciting. Um, and we are also hopeful that we will have an educational theater teacher conference, hopefully in person. It is usually in April. Um, so we're hoping that that will happen this summer um and more information on that coming soon once we get into the organizational process <laughs> and i think that's all i have <laughs>